Hello, I'm Evelyn Gallardo, the author of the upcoming book, Voices from the Mist, The Last Days of Diane Fossey, and welcome to Be Your Own Hero. And today's episode is How I Met Diane Fossey. And it all started in 1984 with a huge disappointment. Uh, David and I had put in applications uh, to work on the orangutan project in Borneo through Earthwatch, an organization that uh, pairs volunteers with scientists around the world working on different disciplines. And I got a letter back and they said, we're keeping your application, but we're very sorry to let you know that it's this time there are no volunteer positions available. So don't you hate it when you hear something like that? To me, I heard no. And so I had just finished reading Diane Fossey's book, Gorillas in the Mist, and I said to David, Honey, what do you think if I wrote a letter to Diane Fossey offering our services as volunteers kind of under the same terms that uh, the Orangutan Project does? And he said, hey, you know, it's, it's worth a shot. So one door closed and I thought, well, I'm gonna open up a window of opportunity. Now, I can't, I have to be honest. There is no way in hell that I thought that I would ever hear back from Diane Fossey. Here she was living on a dormant volcano in deepest Africa, and uh, she didn't have a cell phone back in 1984. So I wrote to her editor at her publishing house then, uh, Macmillan, and uh, I asked her editor if she would forward her letter, my letter to her. And she did, a month later I get a letter back from Diane Fossey inviting us to Karasoki. I was so happy. I, I've never been so happy in my entire life. I did a jazz hands dance all around the living room and I ran out on the balcony on our second floor. We lived up in, in we lived in Manhattan Beach and David was out front playing volleyball in the sand. And I'm I have the letter and I'm kinda of waving it like this and waving to him to come, come, come. And so he gives me the signal. You know, when I finish this game I'll come up. So he walks through the front door and I can't even wait to tell him. I said Diane Fossey wrote and invited us to her research center in Karasoki. And David says, no way that's real. So I've got the letter, I put it right in his face. And I said, look at the stamps. There are four of them that say Rwanda and the other one has gorillas on it. And so David says, whoa, we're going to Rwanda to help mountain gorillas. Our first face-to-face -face came with Diane Fossey in June of 1985 when she invited us to a lecture that she was doing for the Leakey Foundation in the LA area and we were invited as her guests. So we're sitting there watching her uh, for the first time uh, hearing her speak in public and she had the audience enthralled with all her stories about the gorilla. She did uh, vocalizations and and showed them fantastic slides and it was it was a great lecture. So when she came off the podium and came and sat down with us, um, David was so excited. He said, Diane, I'm going to bring a home video camera with me to Rwanda to video the gorillas for you. And she said, home video camera, what's that? I've never heard of that and neither has anyone in Rwanda. And he said, well, they're brand new. This is like one of the first ones. And the quality isn't, you know, great. Like you're not gonna make a movie out of it, but uh, you can um, show on your own TV what you've shot on your video camera. And so Diane was so excited. She said, oh, I would love to see my gorillas again. Because of my health issues, I'm not able to get out to them. So I am really excited about this. So then Diane proceeded to tell us certain things we need to bring, like uh, leather gloves to protect against stinging nettles. Uh, we need a flashlight. And uh, we need, she said, buy rubber boots in Ruangari after you get here. Don't bring anything fancy because the muddy path will suck the boots right off of your feet. So about, um, it took us about a year to, to go there. And meanwhile, we were writing letters back and forth. Uh, she would tell us what was going on in camp with the gorillas, just kind of newsy, fun letters. And uh, sometimes, are you, I don't, are you wondering 
why we even wanted to do this. Sometimes people ask. And I am a survivor of CSA, childhood sexual abuse, and so was Diane Fossey. And it isn't unusual for us to like have a burning desire to look for something bigger than ourselves or or to make a difference. And uh, look at look at the difference that Diane Fossey made. She saved an entire species. And that's the story of how we met Diane Fossey. Thank you, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Be Your Own Hero, Reclaim Your Power, Rewrite Your Story, and Revive Your Life. If you enjoyed this video, please share.